All right, I am being uh, joined by a senior NDRF official, the former DG of NDRF, Mr. Sanjay Kumar, sir. A very good afternoon to you and thank you for your time to mirror now. Uh, here I want to ask you, what do you think could have led to this possible tragedy? Uh, was there any way that it could have been averted? Yes, well, the due precautions are to be taken whenever such a construction works are going on. But then uh, you never know the strata. Sometimes the loose strata is uh, inside Though some engineering works are definitely carry, carried out to protect the site, but then these incidents keep happening. And uh, as you would uh, recall, in 2015 in Himachal Pradesh at Bilaspur, one done in a, such an incident took place, and uh, two of the workers were rescued after nine days. So, therefore, these incidents are basically due to due to the uh, strata, the loose strata inside, there's kind of soil, the, uh, the rocks, etc. But then engineering team, which is working for the uh, construction of the tunnel, takes due precaution. Now that it has happened, it, it is the duty of uh, all to provide due assistance to, the, to those who are trapped inside. It's not known how, how much volume is available to them to move around or to, uh, for the oxygen to be available. The first thing I think would be to make way for the oxygen supply so that they are safe inside. And then as the time passes on, their needs would grow, food, water, etc. Communication is important and some advisories may be given to them to how to protect till the rescue work is uh, there to res uh, rescue them. In, the, in such a situation, it's important that the, those trapped inside keep their nerves and wait for the rescue teams to rescue them, up to re reach them. And uh, for that, these, in, in, these communications, the oxygen supply and some amount of food, et cetera, would be needed there as time passes on and therefore then with the growing need the rescue operation has to be also carried out in more swift manner the rescue teams are there i, I can see through your visuals that so many rescue teams on different forces are there at the site working and definitely they would be taking the due steps to carry out the operation in as swift a manner as possible. All right, uh, Mr. Sanjay Kumar, you have been an integral part of the NDRF team, which has now, in fact, even stepped in uh, the, the ongoing uh, uh, rescue operations in Ramban mm. district. So here I want to ask you that, uh, what are your two cents on this? Do you think that there was not enough preparedness on the ground from the side of the authorities, uh, you know, keeping in mind how, you know, with time, in fact, even the technology has evolved and still such incidents, such unfortunate incidents are taking place? Definitely there are technologies and due precautions are taken, but then that's a subject of investigation and uh, only later we'd come to know that what kind of uh, strata was it, what led to the incident, but then definitely our work right now is to rescue those inside and uh, till the such time that the, they are rescued, make available the necessities there, oxygen supply, the food, water, and uh, some communication, if uh, it can be established, then they can be more confident in, inside. Some advisories may be issued to them with the light not available over there. Definitely, the mobiles would be, even if, even if they are carrying the mobile phones, it will be, uh, needing recharging again and uh, they'll be out of they'll be inside the darkness therefore all such need would uh, i think uh, as i said earlier would keep on uh, rising as the time passes on and with the need it's uh, important that we carry out the operation in a more swift manner from different different sides and uh, assess the need Assessing the need of the uh, those inside, we can provide them a, a due uh, a rescue, uh, due uh, solace 
in the form of oxygen, food, water, communication, advisory, etc. In the Himachal Pradesh case, as I said, one of the workers, two of the workers had experienced the same trauma earlier and he was the person who came out inside giving way to the other companion. He was the person who guided the other one how to be inside the tunnel in dark, though there was water beneath, then how to keep alive. He was carrying some amount of uh, dry fruits as well. He shared that. In those conditions, he kept nerves and advised the other one also for nine days. He had uh, very little to eat and uh, very little space to go move around. And even the ground was not available to sleep or lie down. In that condition, he spent very difficult days. I'm not sure what is the condition inside in the present case, but then definitely all those forces, the supervisors would be trying hard to approach them, to reach them in whatever manner possible at the earliest and provide them solace. Thank you. Quick question uh, here from you. How do you think that such incidents can be averted in future? Definitely it's an engineering project and uh, with the technology is available right now. And these days it can definitely be avoided. But then uh, there are so many uh, uh, other things also that the due precautions are to be taken.